vector algebra suppose p is a point 3 comma 4 and q is a point 7 comma 9 we need to find the vector representation and relation with cartesian coordinate system so let me go with notation in two ways we can write this vector so we can represent like pq just bold face or pq with a bar just a vector so in this vector initial point is p and the terminal point is q so then the vector can be written as so we have p q so q is the terminal so 7 minus 3 and then 9 minus 4 or you can say this is 7 minus 3 is 4 comma 5 also you can say this one as 4i plus 5j we can write with ij and i'll show you in the graph graph what are those ij's and then when you say qp now your p is the terminal point so now we say 3 minus 7 4 minus 9 so that one is negative 4 negative 5 and you can write this one as negative 4i negative 5j so these are vectors graphically we'll see like this we have a point 3 4 this is p here and then q is 7 and say 9 here so then this is point q now when you go like this this is the vector pq like this and that one is 4i plus 5j so that means when you complete a right triangle in this case this length is 4 this length is 5 and that is exactly the difference 7 minus 3 is 4 9 minus 4 is 5 so this is your x con component and that one is multiplied with i i is the unit vector the length of i is 1 and the j is also unit vector along y-axis length of j is also 1 so that's why we have representation like this if you want to go for qp so then the notation will be just the arrow we put other way so this is p here q here now it's coming from q to p and then both the cases the magnitude the components are going negative because this one is going down negative five units then it is going on the left side so it's negative four units that's why the vector we call it qp now so these are basically the representation so we'll take some more on these vectors so we are given a point pxy we need to find the relation between cartesian coordinates and the polar coordinates and this has some relation with the vectors so o is the origin and say p x y is the point so if i want to talk about uh, the vector o p so this one will be simply x i plus y j or you can write this on x comma y we know from trigonometry that this is your x length this is your y length and this is your theta so then you can say tan theta or for example sine theta i'm going with sine theta and this is say r the length of op is r usually we write like this it's called magnitude of the vector which is actually r and that one is square root of x squared plus y squared using pythagorean theorem and then if you use the soka toa concept then you can see that sine theta is y over r and cosine theta will be x over r because sine theta goes opposite over hypotenuse from this you can say y equals r sine theta and cosine theta is x over r so x equals 
r cosine theta so that we can write our vector also in terms of polar coordinate like r cosine theta r sine theta and then you can see further that our tan theta equals y over x opposite over adjacent so this is actually giving you the direction of the vector so then theta will be tan inverse y over x so you have got magnitude which is square root of x square plus y squared when your components are x y then you can find the magnitude and also you can find the direction so we'll see more examples in our next video